Because I sort of am. Hello, everybody! It is I, Mr. Charlie Money. <laughs> I thought I'd start it in that way. I, it was literally the first thing that popped to my head. I thought, hmm, well, I need to change. I need to put the camera in the right position so it's going to look like I'm going in type space. And then you've got to say something really random. And that, that was it. Again! I keep doing it! I keep going the long way around. But all I need to do is go here, and I'm at the exit. That's all I need to do. I keep going that way around. I don't know why I keep doing it. Stop doing it. Naughty child. Ow, that actually hurt. I slapped my hand and it hurt. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to locate Knock Drain's Reliquary. Re 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 I can't say it. Reliquary. <laughs> I've just, I've not long come back from work and yeah, I'm just going to have a drink and I'm going to drown myself on dry land. I didn't succeed, I didn't succeed in drowning myself. i got Fanta now. Oh, i got red mark on my hand now! Ah! Anyway, let's go to his reliquary, reliquary, however you say it! Shut up, shut up, shut up, I'm being Morning. weird. Hull integrity failing. This vessel is entering the Singularity's event horizon. I'm thinking we should make this quick, Captain. Why is, uh, Satil Shan the voiceover for this? Oh, well. Sure seems that way. Vessel disintegration imminent. All crew advised to abandon ship. Okay. How about no? Ooh. Hello. Um, Don't worry about me. I never do. I wanted to blow that up. Wait, I was able to go into the cover here a second ago. You're saying I can't now. And why not? I'm not targeting anybody. I've got an itchy ear. I've got a very itchy ear. I need to scratch in a second. Once I've killed you. Okay, scratch now. Eh, that was lovely. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm an idiot like that. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? You're just... Oh, you're not a dangerous droid. You're just... What are you tightening? There's nothing in your hands. Oh well. This bonus mission, I think I'll do. This bonus mission seems very, 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 very easy. And they're only level 32 as well. Ah, oh, lovely. Hull integrity failing. This vessel is entering the Singularity's event horizon. We vessel already know this. Integration imminent. All crew advised to abandon ship. Yeah, we, we already know. You don't need to remind me again. We know. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, do I need to go that way? Uh, I do. Okay, that's good. Cool. Oh, but could I go this way? I think I will go this way because of the droids that I need to kill. Ooh, gonna drop this down and yeah, gotta love it when it just kills a whole bunch of them at once. Delicious. This vessel is entering yep. singularity. That event horizon. <laughs> vessel disintegration imminent. All crew advised to abandon ship. We we already know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Thanks. We already know. Uh, Royal Executioner, what are you doing? What are you doing? Biological entities identified. Beginning mandatory royal edict playback. Loyal. I, King Eric Drain the Third, find my throne under attack. Traitors aim to take what rightfully belongs to me. The wealth of Dubrillion will not fall into the hands of my enemies. Instead, I will remove it from their reach. My royal executioner droid will sabotage this vessel's hyperdrive and exterminate you, the crew, to ensure there is no rescue. You served me well in life. In death, you will serve me better. Goodbye, my subjects. Royal Edict playback complete. Initiating execution protocols. Protocols? Not protocols. We've got a uh, voice actor bingo here. We've got uh, Steve Blum. We've got Jennifer Hale. Wouldn't be surprised if this is Nolan North. Stand down, droid. Your ruler sent me here. Internal chrono estimates King Arak Drayon III has been deceased 106 years. Your statement is unlikely. Well, Revan did it. I knew this conversation was going to end badly. Executing now. Order 66. Hi, droids! How you doing? Coming down to play. Well, unfortunately, you're not that strong, and you weren't going to last five minutes. You didn't even last five seconds. I counted. I didn't really, but... Can I have my fortune now? Locate the reliquaries. Is it reliquary or reliquary? I don't know. Ooh! I can scavenge! Of course I can! Oh, were there droids back there? I could have sca... Ah! Oh. There we go. Done. 
If I'm lucky, the droids will still be there. No. The droids are definitely not still here. Warning. Hull integrity failing. We get the point! I love how it says return to your ship and not travel to somewhere in your ship. Now, does this mean that there's going to be somebody waiting for me? Is there going to be somebody waiting? Anybody? No? No? Nobody's waiting for- Oh! Hey, Captain. Hi! You're surprised to see me. Not really. I kind of expected it. I'm only surprised you had the guts to face me in person. Let's say you've earned my personal attention. See, I've always believed if you can't beat him, join him. And then beat him. So, I stowed away back on Nar Shaddaa. Ah! Funny thing about Wookiees, they got great big lungs. It only takes a couple of breaths of happy gas to knock one out. How dare you! What do you say we split the treasure? Generous, but I'm not good at sharing. That was sarcasm, by the way. I want to be civil about this. Sure, you've made my life miserable, but I don't hold a grudge. Really? I do. I clearly haven't hurt you enough. Don't kid yourself. You haven't hurt me at all. Bottom line, there's nothing you have that I can't steal. Okay. You know, violence is usually my last resort. Usually. Then you should stop holding back. Enough witty banter. Time for you to die. Me to die? <laughs> Cause like, OH MY GOD! Ah! <laughs> uh, and loot torture. Oh, you're gonna be reunited with Torchy. Oh, how cute is that? We finally get to kill Skarvik. Unless it's a trick. But it probably won't be. My ear keeps being itchy. I don't know why. I need to scratch my ear again. Let me just take this. Here you go. You got to no. Got a plan for making us even richer, right? I can't give you Torchy. Well, you'll get it in a minute. Got to make sure I'm going to Nashada the correct way, because of course it doesn't like me having to use my stronghold all the time. Oh, I've got to use my ship's intercom anyway. So it's a good job I didn't even try. I didn't even try to go the stronghold way. I was going to do it automatically anyway. Oh, it's not. Oh. Captain, I've been meaning to ask. Yes. Did you happen to, when you fought Skavik, was Torchy there? You were there! I didn't look. A gun's a gun. Maybe to you. Sorry, okay, no. No. I know it's in the blind, but... No, I've got to change that. I've got to give him Torchy. Come on. Captain, I've been meaning to ask. Yes. Did you She's all yours, Corso. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Dorothy, it's good to have you back, girl. I'm not letting another man touch you ever again. Thank you, Captain. I know some of you are going to probably be angry that I escaped out of the conversation, but I, I, I had to give it back to him. Come on, it made no sense to have it as a, as a, as an objective, and then just never give it back to him. I had to. Come on. You gotta make him some some sort of happiness you gotta give him. Oh, I probably should have mentioned as well, yeah, we're gonna finish chapter one in this episode. <laughs> um, may do a little bit of chapter two as well, like I did with my Sith Inquisitor, depending on how long it will take me to finish chapter one, but something tells me we're practically there anyway. We've already gone to Nokdrayan's Lost Fortune ship, so yeah, I think we're kind of done with chapter one now, as quick as that kind of was. Uh uh, that's an imperial one, right? So I've got to, uh, I've got to go to that one the long way. Wait, hold on. Actually, no, 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 no. There's one up there. There's one up there. I completely didn't realize that was an imperial one. Ah, not gonna use taxi. I'm just gonna quick travel. It's quicker. That's why they call it quick travel. Oh, what's that? Ooh, a lore object. You having fun in there? You two catching up? Yeah? Okay. Bye now. Risha, I'm back with the reliquary. I still don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I'm just going to call it the reliquary. Um, if the black screen would hurry up and disappear. Oh, loading screen, of course, because it's going to take forever because my computer is... I mean, my computer is okay. It's not fantastic. It's just okay. It's okay. Wow, that didn't take long for you to pretty much be on your deathbed. 
Zero there is nothing more I can do. The disease has spread to your heart. I wasn't using it anyway. Besides, our captain has returned. You made it. Open this thing before it's too late. Give me the reliquary. I want to see reliquary. these treasures yeah. before I die. Uh, um, I don't like this as a conversation choice, but okay. Long Shadow was quite a place. Oh. Phew. I have no plans to go back. You've seen the end of all things, Captain. The darkness waiting to embrace us. I'll enter the code my father taught me. And there. Such a simple act to fulfill a lifetime of effort. Congratulations, Captain. Nock Drain's lost fortune is yours. With one exception. Take the crown, Risha. Claim your birthright. Dun dun dun! Restore the Drain dynasty as rulers of Dubrillion. Wear the crown and rule that world. Your whole crazy treasure hunt has been to get some kingdom back? Our kingdom. And revenge on the usurpers who stole our throne. Remember those assassins on Tatooine? They were sent by the current king of Debrillion to end me. Oh. What you need is a new king. And I know just the guy. You're volunteering? I'm shocked. This conversation is absurd. My daughter will marry a nobleman. We'll see. If you're going to rule a world, Risha, you'll have to do questionable things. This is my final lesson to you. In the grand scheme of things, one spacer is meaningless. Keep the reliquary and its wealth. Kill him. Your daughter likes me too much to kill me. Emotions are a distraction, Risha. Father, no. The captain is a good man. I care about him. Aww. You useless child. Spent too many years without my guidance. You're weak, powerless. Everything I've done, the blood I've spilled, for nothing. <coughs> this is not how it's supposed to end. <coughs> okay. His life signs have ceased. I am sorry. Dispose of my father's body as he instructed Dr. Chela. You are released from my family's service. I'm sorry you had to see that, Captain. My father was sick. I appreciate you not trying to kill me. <laughs> After all you've done, that would have been highly ungrateful. You're a wealthy man, Captain. That reliquary holds more than just family heirlooms. Merchants will be killing each other to buy what you're selling. Not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Everyone I've met from Dubrillion has tried to kill me. I don't have an army or a star fleet. I'm supposed to take over a whole planet with just a crown. I'm sure we'll come up with a brilliant plan, your highness. I have a feeling you're just in it for the money. But I can live with that. Figures you'd be sticking around, Risha. You're like a Minot that way. I'll make sure all the right people hear what you did today, Captain. It's the least I can do. Besides, famous starship captains attract profitable opportunities. And queens in training can never have too many credits. Let's hit the hyper lanes. Oh, is, is, is that it? Is that the end of the chapter? We still got a little bit more to do. Um, use your ships intercom. I guess there's still a little bit more to do. Okay, let's go back to our ship then and end the chapter properly. Everybody, gather around. Looks like we've got a call coming in, Captain. Let me put it through. Captain, I heard about your fantastic success with Nocturne. I always thought his fortune was a myth. Oh, did you? Who are you? And don't start trying to tell me I owe you money. Darmus Polaron, from Coruscant. I can't believe you've forgotten. I helped you find that wretched Skavik after he stole your ship. Of course. Bidu's friend, Captain, and mine, remember? Without him, we'd still be searching course and street by street. I have a business proposition for you, but I'd rather discuss it face to face. Come to Port Nowhere, Captain. Floating Cantina, not far from you. I'll send the specs. Okay. 
Careful now. Seems like a safe location, off. Captain. But we need to be careful. The Imperials are getting more gutsy. There's nowhere in Republic space that's safe anymore. If you wanted safe, you picked the wrong man, sweetheart. If I wanted safe, nice, presentable at social functions, not held in smoke-filled cantinas. Hey, I like smoke-filled cantinas. Uh, uh, okay. I'm serious. I caught a signature when we were on Nar Shaddaa that looked like the Void Wolf. Void Wolf? Someone I should know about? The man's a monster. Grand Admiral Haradax Kirill, former slaver, scourge of the Outer Rim and all-round charmer. My father always kept a close eye on him. The Void Wolf's got delusions of taking over the Underworld, handing it to the Empire wrapped in ribboned. Mm. We hear his name even on Kashyyyk. Then let's hit Port Nowhere fast and see if we can get out of his way. So have we actually finished Chapter 1 now? Because there was no go to the fleet there. So I actually have no idea. Either way, I was planning on traveling to Port Nowhere anyway in this episode. Not that I knew what it was. So basically, basically now, everything from this point on, I have no idea about for the story. Mm-hmm. I only ever did chapter one for the smuggler uh, in my in my streams, my Twitch streams. Uh, so yeah, everything here is brand new to me. Yay! So any any surprises that may come along, I'm doing it again. Any surprises that may come along. There we are. You know, I'll be surprised, supposedly. Though I don't know how good the smuggler story is. I hear it's meh. I hear it's meh. But we'll see. I mean, to be honest, a lot of people said that the Imperial Agent story was great, and I found it good. Not amazing. It was good. Um, and the trooper story as well was not as bad as people said. It wasn't fantastic, but not as bad as people were making it out. People were like, oh. Trooper, ugh, don't even talk to me about that abomination. I'm just like, oh, is it okay? Are they clones? Oh, dancing. Ah. Oh. Kind of dancing Captain, is that? I never thought I'd see you here. Thought you were too good for a small time crooks in Port Nowhere. Weed. Once you got your hands on Noctre and ship, woohoo! Can I buy you a drink? Get some pointers? I've been waiting for this for a long time. Out of my way. I've got urgent business. Oh, believe me, so do I. So, I've been hearing your uh -oh. name for a while now. Almost as long as you've been hearing mine. Rogan the Butcher. Rogan. They call me the Butcher. I'm aware. You lost a blaster shipment of mine some time back. And I don't remember ever getting an apology. How about it, Captain? You know how to say I'm sorry. Not really threatened by a man who's lost his guns. Oh, I've got plenty more. Mostly in the hands of a loyal gentleman waiting for you throughout Port Nowhere. No one steals from me and lives, boy. And you're not running away this time. My men have your hangar locked down tight. Uh-oh. What were the blasters worth? I'll make it up to you. Too little, too late. Everyone keeps saying that too to me. Too bad. All right, open season. A hundred thousand credits to the man who brings me his head. Done deal, boss. Start moving the funds. <laughs> to my bank account. Uh, yeah, not gonna happen, I'm afraid. Well, you're definitely not getting the uh, money. So, oh, you're healing. How dare you heal? How bloody dare you? There you go. You're dead now. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. I thought there was more than that. Oh, hello. Yeah, there's more. Oh, Black Sun. Hello, Black Sun. Enjoy the pretty lady behind you if you could. I prefer if you did that. Any more to kill? As uh, you. Defeat Rogan's men. Hi! If don't mind me, I'm gonna... Whoa! No, I don't want to go over here! I wanted to drop this! Stop doing... <laughs> I want to go into cover, but I don't want to go into cover there. So I can drop the... Really? Find Darmus Polaran. Where is he? He's up there! 
And of course, I gotta be a bunch of men in my way. Lovely. I'm actually nearly dead. I should probably have Corso as a healer again. Probably should. Ah, Darmus is locked away, is he? Okay. Oh god, I've attracted the attention of so many people. I'm screwed. Maybe not. They're all dead. Okay. Free Darmus Polaran. What is this? A movie? Free Willy? Okay. Well, consider yourself free. Who, who are you? Wait, no. No, no, no. Who are you? Senator Dodona. Dodona. That sounds funny to say. Captain. Good thing you're prompt, or I'd be a dead man. The second we got off the link, Rogan's men turned up. We don't often see this sort of thing in the Galactic Senate. You were impressive, Captain. Almost worth getting kidnapped for. <laughs> this is Senator oh. Bevera Dodana. I work with her now. Ra ra! Hail the Republic! Etc. Etc. I hope the opportunity you're offering wasn't just the chance to kill Rogan's thugs. You never waste time. Rogan the Butcher is an Imperial lackey. A puppet on a string for Imperial High Command. There's an Imperial fleet waiting out there. Rogan's men were going to deliver us to the Imperials. Time to put the Butcher down. And if you accept my offer, you won't have to take him on alone. The Republic is looking for men and women of action. Patriots without the restriction of a trooper's uniform. How would you like a commission from the Galactic Senate? Authorizing you as a privateer naval captain. Tasked to target Imperial forces at will. Go where I want, kill bad guys, and be the hero? I'd be a fool to say no. Then by the power vested in me by the Galactic Senate... We're getting married! I hereby swear you in as a true servant of the Republic, Privateer. Oh, cool. Cool. She doesn't know you well, does she? The Captain's never been anyone's servant. It's a straightforward deal. We give you targets, cargo, the job we need done, and all the support we can covertly provide. In return, we look the other way about any laws you break. Or private gains you make along the way. Oh ho! The Republic can count on me. I can't just take your word, can I? I'll have to check up on you. Often. Our top target right now is Balmora, one of the most likely hotspots for open war to be declared. Is there anyone in the galaxy who still thinks we aren't at war? The longer we lie, the more people live. I know we're waiting until they're on planet for the full briefing. But maybe in a word? Balmora used to supply half the Republic's military resources. Now it's occupied by the Imperials, and all that technology is going to the... Empire! Empire! Imperial fleet to Port portside! No! Ah! Starboard side! They're all around us! It's the Void Wolf! Ah! Calm your crap! Get back to Crusant. You two, get out of here! I'll try to jump this old tub before they board us. Go! Return to your ship! Well, apparently I can still click on this. You can't use this right now. Okay, return to my ship! Again, it's a return to your ship. So no doubt as soon as I get to my ship... Uh-oh. Wait, apparently I need to go through here. But I can't. Oh, apparently people are dying and I'm gaining experience. Ha! Huh. Okay. Ah, okay. Whoa, there's a lot of droids. Well, guess what? Gonna drop this, and you're all gonna die at the same time. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Is there a reason I would need to go back in there? Because there's enemies in there that are attacking. Eh, if it was a bonus mission, maybe. Ah, oh, it's so delicious just watching them all die at once. I love it so much. And return to my ship. Oh. I thought it was going to be some sort of amazing whoa, 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 kind of cutscene where I'm escaping in my ship. Okay, no? Alright. Oh? Oh! But I thought we were under attack! Okay. Okay, here we go. I think we made it through before the noose tightened. And I'm glad you did the same, Captain. I'll stay and make sure Port Nowhere doesn't land in any more of Rogan's or the Void Wolf's little parties. You can think of her as a safe harbor. Thanks for letting me in on this. I couldn't think of anyone better to suggest to the Senator. And don't think this is all about serving the Republic, either. There's a fortune to be made in this war. An enterprising individual could end up with a criminal empire to rival Rogan. Rival Rogan? I'm going to annihilate him. Ha! <laughs> Start small, my friend. 
you try to take Rogan in one bite, you just might choke. There's a power vacuum in the underworld with the big names gone. Not Dre and the Hatchet of Ivory. But I have a feeling you'll be up there one day. Just keep in mind, when you're on Balmora, the opportunities are there. You just have to take them. Okay! Well, that is, I believe that's definitely chapter one done. Like, definitely, definitely. Definitely, 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 definitely. And in the next episode, we'll head to Balmora. I was going to check something, wasn't I? I was going to check. Can Risha be one of my companions? She can! So, from here on out, bye Corso! Risha's my companion now. So anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.